Hi guys and welcome back to my channel! If you are new here, I'm Yuni and I love making art in my own style. On my channel I show you the complete process of creating my drawings and paintings, talk about art supplies and share inspiration, advice and tips with you. If you love art like I do and want to have a good time creating together with me, subscribe to my channel and leave a like under this video, thank you! As some of you know, I was lucky enough to be offered my first collaboration with the Artex Art brand. They were so pleased with my work on my first project that they asked me to test their second set of acrylic markers from the same series, which you can see on the screen. This is an acrylic marker set of 60 colors in the A version, so let's see what we have inside. If you haven't seen the previous video reviewing the second set of markers, at the top of the screen I've attached a card where you can watch it. Here you can see a thank you card and two sticker sheets to label your markers. One sheet of stickers is for the top of the marker and the other sheet is for the side. You can also stick these small stickers to the top of the marker so you can identify them and use the larger ones to sign the color swatches on a separate sheet of paper. You can do it the other way around, but I think it's better to see in the box when these smaller stickers are stuck on the top of the marker rather than on the side. I definitely prefer the larger stickers on the side of the markers because I don't put the markers back in the box when I'm painting, I just leave them on my desk so it's more convenient for me. I only put them back in the box when I'm finished. I've noticed that quite a few people wonder why the color numbers aren't printed on the markers themselves, but to be honest, there's something fascinating and satisfying about sticking these stickers onto each marker separately. I find it very relaxing in a way. As for the packaging, I am delighted with it. The packaging looks really pretty and I think these markers would make a great gift for someone because it wouldn't even need any extra decorations, it looks gorgeous. What's more, any artist would be delighted with these markers. They say not to judge a book by its cover, but in this case the packaging as well as the product itself is worth spending any money, believe me. I chose a random page where I still had a lot of space to use. I really dislike wasting space, food or anything else. I have to use everything to the fullest, do any of you feel that way? If you watched my previous video review of the second set of acrylic markers from Artex, then you will know it was love at first use. No wonder I was so excited when I was offered the chance to test the markers in color version A. I will let you in on a little secret. In September you can expect reviews of two new sets of acrylic markers from Artex, so stay tuned! Note the difference between the colors in these two sets of markers. Set B, which I had already tested, had colors specifically chosen for people who create in anime and manga style. The colors were very saturated, but when I compared them to set A, I felt that they were definitely more pastel and brighter. In the color version A set we have very vibrant colors, including 6 neon colors and 6 metallic colors. At the beginning of the work I didn't think that I would be using any neon colors or metallic colors. I thought the basic colors would be quite enough for me, but as I was coloring the hair I realized that I needed to get a lot more contrast so that the hair didn't look too flat. And then I had an idea. I used a neon pink acrylic marker as a base for the hair and it was a great decision that I was really scared of at first. I honestly don't know where the fear comes from, they are acrylic markers after all. Even if something doesn't come out, acrylic markers have a huge opacity to cover up all the mistakes. Ah, uh, I wish there was something like these markers to erase all of my life's mistakes. Maybe I haven't discovered all the possibilities of these markers yet and they can do that too? 
I wouldn't be surprised because these markers are truly magical. Besides, I couldn't have fooled my nature. I love anything that sparkles and shines. The gold marker in particular caught my eye, so I thought I'd leave a little and use it to color the background and the stars in the background on the left page in my sketchbook. At first, I was going to use the marker for details such as my character's glasses and belt buckles, but given the size of the marker tip for small drawings, I decided to go with the gold gel pen. I was doing the color swatches of this set and as I was working, I kept thinking about that other set so I could compare them with each other. At first, I was pretty sure that some of the colors were the same as the other set. I especially had that feeling when I matched the skin colors. This left me a bit unsure, so I decided to do some investigating. I was wrong. The colors are completely different and the only ones that overlap are white and black. I'm really happy about this because I think the two sets complement each other really well, so I am even more grateful to have them both. What's more, even having only one set, colors like white and black are needed, so it's a really good solution putting them in both sets of these acrylic markers. Artex, you have done a great job creating these two sets of acrylic markers, I am delighted. I don't think I am the only one, as I see a huge amount of positive feedback online. I really haven't come across a bad word yet, so believe me, if you love art, especially acrylic or gouache techniques, your art supplies collection should not be without these markers. I can honestly recommend them. What's more, I wasn't expecting such a good response from my viewers of the previous review video of these acrylic markers. You guys are amazing! So far this video is generating huge views. I read all your comments and I see that you also love the art supplies from Artex. I also have to tell you that it is a pleasure to work with this art brand. They have wonderful products and so do the people who work there. The contact with Artex is unproblematic, they are always willing to help if there is a problem. I really appreciate it and I always pay attention to such details, so I can only say thank you. I am happy to work with you and show your great products. The markers are supplied with a super thin adjustable foam tip, which means that the level of precision that can be achieved is really impressive. I have had the opportunity to test other acrylic markers from another brands, which have a very clumsy heart and huge nib. The other company's acrylic markers that I tested often jammed, the paint wouldn't come out of the cup as if it had dried inside. Also, the other company's acrylic markers were terrible at peeling off the paper when the first layer was applied. Also, their price is huge in relation to the quality. Even with a little water to help me blend the colors, they glide so smoothly over the paper and don't peel off. The tip is soft like a sponge, so it's nice and easy to paint without damaging the paper. I also noticed that the Artex markers have such a glossy finish. This came as quite a surprise to me, as usually acrylic markers have a matte finish, but Artex have a glossy finish. I think this makes them even more special. The size of the markers is perfect for me. The markers feel great in the hand, they are light and comfortable to use. They are also easier to carry around and store. What's more, the markers look very tidy. As you know, I love working with acrylics and gouache, but I can't stop complaining about the amount of time it takes just to prepare the paints, brushes and palettes. I also spend a lot of time mixing the paints or constantly changing the water in the cup, so I fell in love with the acrylic markers from Artex because painting with them is a pleasure and they also save me a lot of time. The colors are very opaque. I wouldn't say 100% because it would be difficult for such an opaque pigment to work as a marker while this one provides perfect and sufficient coverage. 
For many of the colors, one coat is enough, while for a few, two coats are needed for full coverage. Some of the markers are simply more watery, but this doesn't interfere with use at all. What makes these markers so great is that you can paint with them wherever you like. You can use them on paper, fabric, glass, metal, plastic and many other surfaces I haven't tested yet. This means that the creativity sky is the limit. I absolutely promise I will try them on wood at some point too. I've already bought a wooden box because I'm running out of space for my polaroids and it would be a great for storing them. Photos are memories worth remembering, so they deserve a customized box to store them in, right? Markers from Artex will work perfectly for this. If you haven't watched my previous video, I have to tell you about a great solution that makes it much easier for me to blend colors. I pour some water into a cup, take a brush and use acrylic markers similar to gouache paints. When the pigment wasn't quite dry yet, I tried blending the markers with a wet brush. At first, as with my beginnings with gouache, it was a bit tricky for me to get a feel for the amount of water I needed to use, but after a while I think I managed to work out the right amount. If you have problems blending the colors of these markers, try this solution and let me know if it worked for you. When it comes to light fastness, acrylic markers are the clear winners no matter what kind of marker we are talking about. They are also water resistant when they are completely dry. What's more, these paint markers flow without flooding or jamming. This makes painting with them a pure delight. There is no need to shake and press for tips while using them. Just open the cup and you are ready to go. Above all, the markers are just so much fun to use. Just remember to keep the markers horizontal when not in use, it's important. I am also really happy to be able to share a special discount code with you. Between August 3rd and August 8th, use the code UNI1 at the Artex shop and receive 10% off. Be sure to take a look at the description below this video you will find all the links where you can purchase all the amazing products from Artex. I would like to say a big thank you to the brand for sharing this discount code with my lovely viewers. I just wanted to say a quick thank you for all your support. We are getting close to 2000 subscribers, which is amazing. To celebrate, I thought I would create something special. What could be better than a Q&A video? If you have a question for me, Please feel free to ask in the comments by adding the word questions in front of it. On my channel you haven't had the chance to meet my original character for whom I'm doing a reference sheet today. Her name is Humira, she is an elf and she comes from the same universe as Ines who I drew in the first long episode on my channel. In fact, her name was very coincidental because Homira was also the name of a medication I had to take for a while. I thought it worked pretty well as the name of some character. At the time I liked the idea very much, but now I am not convinced. What do you think? Should I keep the name or change it? Do you have your own suggestions? I would love to hear them, so if you do, let me know in the comments. Humira is an herbalist who loves to experiment and create new potion formulas. I really like her personality and her attitude. She is really freaky, brave and she is everywhere. She is also very loud and explosive. She infects everyone around her with her positive energy. She is also very afraid of insects, which sometimes makes it difficult for her to work on her potions. The only insects she isn't afraid of are fireflies. She's friends with my other elf character Ines. I know I am being watched here by some of my friends who are very familiar with this character and may be surprised to see what has happened to her original design. Some time ago I decided that I wanted to improve the designs of all my characters as I no longer like the previous ones. Of course, I still keep them in the same color scheme or style, but 
I experiment a bit more and to be honest, I don't regret it. I've already managed to change the design of Ines and Humira and I am very happy with the change. But I am not sure which hairstyle to choose. Which do you like better? The one with the space buns or the one with the loose hair? Let me know in the comments below this video. You may not know it, but these are my only characters that have at least a little bit of history and character outlined. My characters, apart from the pretty design, are empty with no history or personality. I thought I could call myself a creative person, but when it comes to coming up with a whole plot, giving character characteristics, I'm really lacking. I don't even know why that is. I have absolutely no idea how to develop a character and when I do come up with something, I find myself thinking that I've seen something similar somewhere before, so I end up giving up on the idea. Please tell me if any of you have or have had this. Maybe someone has dealt with this problem and unlocked the character development skill in themselves. Maybe you have some tips for me? The comments section is yours. Share your tips with me. As you may have noticed, when I was painting with acrylic markers, outlines started to appear. As I've mentioned before, although markers are great for detail, I can't quite get the hang of them for line art. This is where the Himimiya gouache set comes to the rescue. The colors of these gouaches are a little darker than the two sets of acrylic markers, which is perfect for adding colored line art to the whole painting. I think some other water-based gouaches would also work well. In addition to the gouaches, I also used a very thin brush that I bought from the supermarket. This is a brush that was originally designed for nail art. Despite this original purpose and use, I decided to use it to outline my character. If you are having trouble finding a thin brush, try the drugstore, you might be able to find one. It's really thin. When you are done, I recommend washing it in boiling water so that the brush bristles don't spread in different directions. As with any video, small life update. A few days ago, mom noticed a small injury to our cat around his quills in the armpit area. We've been trying to cut out all these tangles for him, but our kitty really dislikes it. Especially in the summer, his fur is very soft and has a great tendency to form quills. Mom decided we were going to the vet to see what it could be. The injury was fine, so I took the opportunity to still ask the vet to take his blood and urine results. Just as a prevention of what and well, it turned out that the kitten is, first of all, too fat. Which is downright absurd to me, because he's an adult and large ragdoll male. He was the largest of his family and currently weighs 8 kilograms. Furthermore, he was diagnosed with inflammation, struvids and some deposits in his bladder. The vet assumed in advance that the cat takes care of its needs outside the litter tray, which is total nonsense. He is trying to push us a food that is supposed to help him recover, but I have to be honest, I have mixed feelings about this because I have read too much on cat Facebook groups about this food. For the time being the cat is getting some injections, I don't even know what they are exactly. For sure, when I have more money, I will check his health in another vet. As for me, remember how in one of the videos I made a gift for my friend? I even prayed for something so that it wouldn't end. And yet, I feel like it's over again. I feel powerless right now, I feel very sorry for myself that I was deceived again by tender and kind words. I am naive if I thought that after so many years this relationship would be different, that we could be friends. Once again, I was disappointed. Remember that words are nice, but it is only through the actions of the other person that we can tell if the relationship is meaningful and if the other person really cares about us. Given my poor mental state of late, I decided to do something about it. 
I am waiting for a call about teeth whitening and I've also booked an appointment at my friend's hairdressing salon from primary and secondary school. Hair holds memories, so I want to cut it down to my shoulders. I am also waiting for an Olaplex treatment while I am doing soft highlights in beige colors of my hair. What's more, I have already lost 8 kilos. I want to have my summer glow up and finally feel good about myself because I deserve the best. I am also not going to make my happiness dependent on another person. We are all busy people, but the truth is that there's always a moment to write, call or meet up with someone you care about for a while. If you don't, the matter is simple, you are not important to that person. I am sorry to see it end like this, but I am not going to be a one person in a relationship who keeps trying. I just let it go and see what happens. I'm just sad that once again something was taken away from me that I never really had and never will have. Time heals once, I shouldn't cry and yet I do, because I feel used and cheated. On top of that, it hurts me that this person has no guilt whatsoever and doesn't even have the courage to talk to me about how I feel. And before that, she asked me about it every day. I should be used to it by now, but I am not and it hurts even more every time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. See you soon, bye!